Hey guys, today I wanted to test out this new mask from Summer Friday. So this is their R&R mask and this one's for glowy skin. This is the newest of the three masks that they now have. Besides this one, they have their jet lag mask, which is for hydration. And then they also have their overtime mask, which is for exfoliation. This one here is 68 Canadian dollars or 52 US dollars. And you get 64 grams of product or 2.25 ounces. So this one is basically just for radiant glowy skin. Um, you're supposed to get petal soft, smooth skin, so they say. It has ground wild rose powder to remove dead skin and antioxidant rich oils that'll provide moisture to your skin. Can I just say, I love the packaging of all of their masks. They all look like this, they're just different colors. It's just really pretty packaging. Also, all of the masks are not the same price. They're in the same range, but this one here is the most expensive one. So I'm just gonna try it out. It's supposed to be instant results, so we'll see how it goes. I'll give you more of a close-up of my skin so you can see what uh, we're working with here. Um, my skin, there's nothing on it right now. I just had a shower and dried it off. It feels kind of dry. Um, so this is what it looks like. So you're supposed to apply it to clean, dry skin, which is what I have. Um, massage it into your face a bit and then let it sit for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes are up, you take a damp washcloth and rinse it off. And then any oils that are left over, just pat them in to your face. Recommended use is whenever you need to revive that radiance. So every hour of every day. Once you take the cap off, it kind of just starts coming out whether you want it to or not. So it looks mostly like a clear kind of jelly mask with bits of, I guess, rose powder in there. Doesn't say how much to use. I'm just gonna do what feels right. And just gonna massage it in a little bit. Definitely feels oily. Like thick and oily. Not in a bad way. In like a moisturizing kind of way. Also smells like typical rose scent, which is to be expected. I keep getting my hair in it. Ugh. And there are like these little abrasive bits in it. It doesn't feel, okay, I shouldn't say abrasive, that's the wrong word. It's uh, these exfoliating bits. Um, it doesn't feel very harsh, which is nice. Just feels like a light exfoliation. Okay, now I'm gonna start the timer for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back to wash it off. Okay, it's been just over 10 minutes now, probably closer to 15. Um, my hands, even just from applying it with my hands for that little bit there, they feel really soft. So I've got high hopes here. So I just got my damp washcloth and I'm gonna rinse this off. And then you just pat the rest in. It doesn't feel like there's much to pat in, but it does feel like there's a bit of like, there's this slight amount of oils left over. So here's an up close look of my skin after it's all said and done. I think my skin definitely looks glowy from the excess like oils that are left over once you wipe it off. And it looks pretty hydrated. It feels really hydrated and not too heavy. Like I could just put makeup right on top of this and continue on. Yeah, I'm actually really happy. I'm really happy with how it turned out. We just had our real first snowfall of the season. Um, we've had like a little bit here and there but nothing that's actually stuck to the ground so far so my skin's been kind of dying in this cold weather everyone on the east coast is probably like shut up <laughs> yeah my skin feels really nice i uh, the dead skin is definitely gone it feels smooth and it feels like slightly exfoliated it feels moisturized it's like the perfect combo mask and i'm not saying you need this mask to get moisturized and exfoliated skin but if you're looking for a nice mask to kind of treat yourself um i don't think you'll be disappointed with this one it definitely gives me the feeling of just being at a spa and pampering yourself and relaxing i mean it's called the r&r &R mask so it's all in the name but 
no it actually is really nice and i'm pretty happy with it anyways that's all i have for today's video thanks so much for watching and oh i actually i started an instagram for like beauty and skincare and kind of things like that i have i think four pictures on it at this point um that'll be linked down below if you want to give it a follow we'll see anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye